to Katie Pick. I've partnered up today with Capital One to bring you a delicious recipe that's not only good for you, but good for your bank balance too. So we're gonna start the year by busting the myth of superfoods to help support you in eating a little healthier, simply, quickly, and affordably. So today we are making a delicious superfood fish with a nutty crust and sweet potato wedges. I mean, it sounds delicious. It sounds naughty, in fact. But you know what? It's really, really good for you and full of everyday superfoods that you probably didn't even realise you have in your store cupboard. So, we're going to kick things off with our sweet potato wedges. I've preheated my oven to 200 degrees centigrade and I've chopped up two extremely large sweet potatoes, probably more the equivalent of three to four sweet potatoes. I'm gonna bung them into a bowl. I've chopped them into kind of chunky fries, but you can go wedges, thin cut fries, whatever you fancy. And then we're going to take two sprigs of rosemary, give those a nice rough dice, and pour that into our bowl too, with a tablespoon of oil as well. Gonna season up, season up. <laughs> Oh, by heck, season up with some salt and pepper. And I'm gonna be quite generous with these. So once you've rubbed it in and you've got all of your sweet potatoes coated, I've got two pans here because we wanna keep them nice and spread out so that they can catch the heat and they're on a nice high heat. So I'm just gonna pop these into a pan, get an immediate sizzle, yeah. And you're gonna flash fry these for about five, or so minutes. Now, a sweet potato is a veritable powerhouse in terms of vitamins. They're really rich in vitamin C and potassium, which is really good for your blood pressure, and it do actually count towards your five a day. Even better! So now these have got a lovely bit of colour on them. You've got a bit of a crispy outside, which means when they bake and soften, you're going to keep that crunch on the outside. So I'm going to now pop these into a baking tray. Again, keeping them nicely spread out. And then they're going to go into a preheated oven at 200 degrees for about 20 to 30 minutes, depending on how thick you've cut them. So next up is the star of the show. It is our fish. So I've gone for white fish here, notoriously low in fat, full of protein, so really good rich protein. And white fish such as cod, which I'm using today, sustainable cod, is high in selenium and iodine, which is really good for the thyroid gland and keeping that nice and healthy. So as much as this is beautiful and rich in flavour and goodness for you, we're going to top it off with a few little extra special superfoods. Actually, we've got so many superfoods in our cupboards that we often forget about. I've got here a gorgeous selection of nuts. So Brazil nuts are amazing for your immune system. You've got walnuts, which are proven to help lower uh, bad cholesterol and help fight heart disease. Can't be a bad thing, can it? And you've got cashew nuts, which are a really good option if you follow a vegetarian diet as they're really rich in protein. So these are going to go into a blender. It's got 120 grams there of mixed nuts. Choose whichever ones you fancy. And I'm also going to add in 60 grams of wholemeal bread as well. Again, don't let things like bread, just because they're carbohydrates, suddenly become a no-go area. Actually, it's all about balance. We're then going to add in a quarter teaspoon of turmeric, or turmeric, which is high in iron, that helps build red blood cells that help carry oxygen around the body. Oh, you're getting both a food and science lesson in one, people. Right, next ingredient is ginger. I've got an inch here of ginger. We're going to grate that in. Now, ginger is rich in potassium, and in fact, both of these together are a kind of known anti-inflammatory, so used quite commonly for medicinal purposes, and just tastes amazing. We're also going to add the zest of a lemon. And then just to help bind everything together and make sure it sticks comfortably to our fish, we're just going to add in a small drizzle, about a teaspoon of oil as well. Lovely. And don't forget your season up. Delicious. Lovely. Now I'm going to blitz this up into a nice fine crumb that's going to sit on our fish and make us all very happy. So this is enough for four people, this whole recipe. So we are going to take our fish loins. I've got 140 grams per person. And we're going to take a nice, generous handful of our crummy mix. And you're literally just going to press it down onto your fish. 
and you will see that it actually, with the oil and the juice of the ginger, it's going to bind really nicely and sit just on top of your fish like that. And then make sure they're all nicely covered and then we're going to pop them onto a baking tray. So these are going to go into the oven now at 200 degrees for about 10 to 12 minutes, which is just enough time to, for me to put some broccoli on the boil and for the sweet potatoes to finish up and be ready for dinner. Everything is out of the oven. It's looking golden brown and delicious. And now it's just time to taste. Mm. It's super fresh from the ginger and lemon. That crunch is a gorgeous, gorgeous te texture with a super flaky, delicious cod. Can't forget my sweet potatoes. Still crunch, still crunch. Mm. Those flavours balance out perfectly. Thanks to the flash frying, it means that we've got a little bit of added crunch on those sweet potatoes. That is a complete winner of a dish. Really good for you and comes in at about three pound a person, which you can't argue with that. That's flavour and cost efficiency at its finest. I hope you enjoyed this recipe and it goes some way in helping you kickstart a healthy new year. And guys, make sure you check out the Capital One blog in the description box below for more myth busting and handy tips on how to keep track of your finances too. I hope you like this. Dig out the store cupboard favourites. This is going to be part of it. Love you loads. Take care. Bye.